Hey guys, Dan here. Great to see you again. I've got a new video for you today. What we're going to be talking about today is the lighthouse location and how I like to play uh, on that map. The lighthouse is a brilliant location and it's very, very difficult for a number of reasons. Not only are the rogues absolutely crazy, but you've got player scouts and other PMCs to worry about as well. This isn't uh, the perfect guide or anything like that. This isn't how to kill the rogues easy or anything, uh, anything like that, guys. It's just going to be my way of uh, dealing with the rogues and playing the map how I like to play it. A lot of us Tarkov players have been waiting for a map suitable for sniping for a long time. And in my opinion, the lighthouse is honestly the best place for long range engagements that we've had so far. And generally speaking, you're likely to come up against a lot of PMCs who are extremely experienced with long range shooting and uh, concealing themselves, camouflaging themselves and staying out of sight. Again, it is a very, very difficult map. And I know that a lot of players are kind of apprehensive uh, to, to go in and play in on it. It's the first time we've had a new location in the game for almost two years. So it's a brand new experience for a lot of players um, who may have gotten comfortable with the maps that already were in the game prior to 1212. Just to give you a kind of idea of what weapons I like to use on the location, we have the UMP in 45 ACP. We've got the DVL-10 and G28. Okay, these are both chambered in 7.62 NATO, and my round of choice is the M80, mostly because the uh, the DVL-10 and the G28 are both calibrated for M80. If you're wondering what I mean by calibrated, it's simply the default ammo for that weapon, which means the sight is calibrated for that round, meaning you will get the optimum accuracy whilst using the M80 round with these weapons. Each weapon in Tarkov has a default ammo and if you want to maintain optimum accuracy, running the default ammo for that weapon is the way to go. The default ammo can be found on the wiki on the weapon page itself. I'd like to give a quick shout out to Reddit user Low Effort Saltbox at Rima for this absolutely fantastic lighthouse map which you can find on the wiki. The link is in the description of the video. This map is absolutely incredibly detailed and will give you a really, really good idea of where to go and how to navigate the most dangerous enemy on the map, the minefields. Okay, these are extremely dangerous locations to be and there's nothing worse going about your business and hearing an almighty explosion as the lower half of your body gets absolutely destroyed. Be careful out there, guys. We'll be referring to this map along the way. Right, so without further ado, we're going to jump into the location and go and hunt some rogues. It looks like we've got a wonderful, bright and beautiful sunny day here in Tarkov on the lighthouse location. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to check our compass and orientate ourselves with the map. It seems that we've got quite a uh, eastern spawn. So we're going to move out quickly and just confirm where we are. Aha! Just as we suspected. We've just moved up on one of the villages on the eastern edge of the map, but we're not going to worry about that for now. Our objective is pushing northeast as fast as we can. Generally speaking, you're going to catch PMCs here if you, uh, if you get here fast enough. They'll be looting the houses or maybe pushing up towards the water treatment plant themselves. Let's keep pushing east and then we'll hit the northern path to get to our sniping location. So, because of our spawn, we've decided to go for a northeastern push to the water treatment facility. Again, where you spawn will generally inform the rest of the raid. There is a couple of minefields up ahead, but if we stay on the right hand side here, we'll be safe. There's also a number of uh, signs stating there are mines nearby, as you can see. And remember to refer to the map if you're ever unsure. We've made it to the Eastern Rocks sniper position. This place is awesome for engaging the rogues on the rooftops. You may struggle to engage 
the helicopter patrol from this location unless you've already taken out all of the rooftop um, the rooftop rogues. Warehouse 2 patrol can be a bit of a pain too. So just be careful when popping your head out over the rocks. We're going to do a quick survey of the location. I'm just going to show you what to look out for when it comes to the rogues. As you can see, Warehouse 1 has a fixed MG position on its southeastern corner. This guy is approximately 350 meters away, as you can see on the rangefinder. Again, the northeast corner, you'll see another MG position. Okay. These two guys generally will not engage you from this location. So it's sometimes best to keep them up just so you can see if anyone else is pushing up on that western edge. If you start seeing those guys getting killed, then you know that you're probably going to have some competition on the uh, the northern side by Warehouse 2. Now, the, arguably the most dangerous rogues from this location are as follows. The two rogues on top of Warehouse 3. Okay, right here. There's an MG position by the sandbags and there's a loose rogue who walks around. Those two are extremely dangerous. And we've got the MG on Warehouse 2, which is on the southeast corner of Warehouse 2. There's also an AGS on the southwest corner. And uh, there's usually another rogue on the MG in the northwest corner of Warehouse 2. So there's three on top of here. Okay, so we've got two on Warehouse 1. Three on Warehouse 2 and two on Warehouse 3. Okay, so one, two, three. So two, three, two. All right. So that makes a total of seven rogues on the rooftops. Once you've taken them out, okay, the location does become slightly safer, but don't let your guard down because you're going to have player scavs and other PMCs moving up on your, on your uh, southern approach. Okay, this is where it really helps to have a group or even just one other player to watch your back. Okay, I like playing in duos and trios on this map, whereas I usually enjoy playing solo on other maps. So I think that BSG have done a great job at encouraging players to play in groups on the Lighthouse location. So what we're going to do, we're going to try and get started on these rogues. Okay, this might go really, really badly. And if it does, we'll re-roll. No problem. I'm going to move up and try and hit the MG. He's looking right at us. Let's see if we can pop a shot off before he gets a chance to shoot. Okay. Okay, that makes two. Whew. Right. Now that we've taken out the tops of Warehouse 3, we can move on. And with slightly more relative safety... Engage the rest of the rooftop rogues. The next rogue that I'm going to be targeting is going to be the southeast corner of Warehouse 2. There's a nice little spot over here where you can catch him in between the trees, but it is by no means an easy shot. Thankfully, the sun is out today, so we should be able to see him without too much trouble. Okay, and he sits on the southeast corner of Warehouse 2. Okay, and you can just see him right there. Okay, he's approximately 200 meters away, so we're going to set our sight to 200 meters. And uh, try and fire the shot. I'm just going to reacquire the target. And there he is. Okay, so. He's one of the most dangerous rogues that look out onto this location. Now, okay, we've pretty much got free reign of this location with regards to the rogues. These three rogues are the hardest to take down, in my opinion. Okay, once you get them out of the way, you can work on Warehouse 2 Patrol, who are dangerous in their own right. Remember, guys, there's going to be two more rogues on top of Warehouse 2. One is going to be on the AGS on the southwest corner, and the other one may be loose now. He may be walking around doing his own thing now that we've killed one of the uh, rogues up there. They usually hang around by these sort of generator-looking building thingies, okay, or the tents um, as well. But as you can see, he is on the mounted weapon at 265 meters away. Okay, that's two down on Warehouse 2. The last guy should be hanging around on the AGS on the southwest corner. Okay, thankfully they haven't moved and it's made our life slightly easier with regards to taking them out. Okay, now from this point here you will sh or you should be able to see the uh, Warehouse 2 patrol 
And I'm surprised that they haven't started shooting at us yet, because they like to sit on this uh, this southern road down here. Okay, they also like to ha like to hang out on the uh, on the eastern parking lot area. Remember, guys, it's really really useful to follow along on the map, and it will help you to learn the locations of the rogues and how to take them out. Let's see if we can spot Warehouse Two Patrol, and it will help us to decide on how to proceed with the rest of the hunt. Okay, as you can see. Warehouse 2 Patrol are chilling on the southern road there. These guys are extremely dangerous, okay, and they will hit you with extreme accuracy from far away. All right, thankfully, this guy hasn't spotted us, but his friends might. So let's keep our eyes peeled and see if we can take them out as they move. Let's take out a few more rogues then and uh, practice a little bit more with our long-range shooting. Okay, 350 meters. All right. So as you can see, our round bounced off the helmet. Let's try again. There we go. Sometimes these guys will wear like class 4 high ricochet helmets. Okay, and that does make it a little bit more difficult to engage them. So you really want to be going for the face, all right? This is where the, the more accurate um, weapons really come into their own. Okay, remember guys, the, the lower the MOA, the lower the number, the more accurate the weapon will be. Generally speaking, I wouldn't recommend going prone up here because it makes it a lot more difficult to move, okay? Obviously, going prone makes you more stable and gives you a much more stable firing platform. However... It will make it much, much more difficult to move out of the way when you eventually start getting shot at. Okay, all it takes is for one rogue to start shooting you and uh, it will really, really ruin your day. So staying on your feet where possible will make it a lot easier to get out of the way when the rounds start coming your way. Helicopter patrol is one of the most dangerous groups as well. These guys can be extremely difficult to take out. Thankfully, we've got a line of sight on them here. And I'm going to do my best to engage them as fast as possible. Just to minimize the risk of them shooting at us. If they do start to engage us, then chances are they will kill us. Because we have absolutely no cover where we're at right now. Okay. How come we're never able to do that on stream? Hmm. Just checking the time, we've got approximately 18 minutes left until the end of the raid. We've already spent a long time up here doing our best to snipe the rogues and stay out of trouble. Bearing in mind, in that time, we could have had anybody pushing up on the southern approach here. This is why it really does help to have a teammate to uh, watch your back whilst you get these kills. I think we've been compromised. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can pick them off one by one just to make our approach towards Warehouse 2 a slightly bit easier. Definitely ducked in real life right then. So that's two down, two to go. I really shouldn't be re-peeking this angle. I'm being very, very foolish. Because if they have a bead on your location, they'll continue to engage it. And they'll have absolutely no problem with hitting you. It looks like we've got a rogue in the bush there to the right. It's hard to tell. It looks like a backpack and he's crouched, but I really can't tell from here. Yeah, it just moved. We know the bushes don't move. So let's engage it. It's a miss. Slightly to the right. Looks like they're hitting low. I think my zero was slightly off there. And he's moving. Yeah, the two last guys are going to be moving left to right. Now we have a choice. What we can do is we can wait them out and see if they push uh, back to that location or we can push down to warehouse 2 
and try and fight them close up. A 1v2 versus two rogues with a UMP 45 and 25 rounders is probably not going to end in our favor. And because we've got time on our side, I'm going to do my best to engage them back in that position. That makes three. What I've seen generally is the last rogue will go firm and stay put, usually inside warehouse two. So let's push down and do as much damage as we can. Also worth remembering guys that we didn't get three confirmed kills on top of warehouse two. So we're most likely going to see another rogue up there, potentially looking this way. He's still up. Nice. That's confirmed kill number three. On top of warehouse two. You might remember from our last video where we got absolutely destroyed. Okay, we got shot in the face by a rogue sitting by the van here. And uh, yeah, he is a... Uh, He's a real piece of work, that guy. Oh, as you can see, there is indeed a rogue sitting by the wall of Warehouse 3. Okay, this is a very, very bad idea. We're going to see if we can snipe him, take him out. I predict that we're probably going to get killed. Okay, the rogues in CQB are an absolute nightmare, and I recommend sniping them wherever possible. Sometimes you can catch the rogue sitting out on the western uh, parking lot over here. But this time, it doesn't seem like they're here. It doesn't seem like the last remaining rogue is going to make it easy for us. I think we're going to have to do this the hard way. My official advice right now would be to leave with the XP and any loot that you've managed to get so far. However, for the sake of the demonstration, I think it's worth just uh, pushing it a little bit and seeing, uh, seeing if we can find this last guy. All right, how did we do? 16,000 XP in approximately 37 minutes. We took the whole raid and we killed as many rogues as we could. Let's have a quick look. So we managed to get 15 rogues. Now, I believe online there's around 16. Two at the checkpoint, two on warehouse one, three on warehouse two, two on warehouse three, then you've got four inside warehouse two, as well as heli patrol, which makes 16. So for some reason, <laughs> we uh, unfortunately missed one. I couldn't find that one um, left over from warehouse two previously. I have absolutely no idea where he went. He didn't seem to be inside the warehouse and we didn't have enough time to, uh, we didn't have enough time to go and search for him. Okay, so we got out with our 15 kills, and we could have grabbed a little bit of loot along the way. So I would call that a successful hunt. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate your time. Okay, that was just one route. Okay, that was just one way that you can you can engage the rogues from the Eastern Rocks area. What I'll most likely do is do a follow-up video where we'll take the Western route, and I'll show you how... Uh, how you can engage the rogues from that location just in case you get like the beach house spawn um, or you spawn on the, the western or southern side of the map and don't fancy pushing through the chalet area. We got really, really lucky with our spawn there. Um, and just bear in mind, guys, from what I said at the start, if you don't get a suitable spawn and you don't feel good about pushing all that way, okay, there's a lot going on in the southern half of the map. All right, guys, I know it can be frustrating when you don't get the spawn that you want, but it's really, really easy on Lighthouse to re-roll because there's extracts all over the map. Okay, you've got multiple extracts on the north side and uh, you've got extracts on the south and a couple um, sort of around the middle as well. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you've got any questions for me, please feel free to, to ask in the comments. Um, please feel free to come to the stream. All right, guys, we're live Tuesday to Saturday uh, for approximately seven, eight hours a day. So please feel free to come by and, uh, and have a chat with us about the Lighthouse location. All right, guys, looking forward to your feedback. And um, yeah, we'll do another video and um, we'll check out the Western, uh, the Western side of the map next time and see what we can do from there. All right, guys, thank you very much indeed. I'll catch you soon.